who has uh, joined uh, Ms. Crawford and Ms. Barton to uh, give us sort of a summary of uh, the uh, health care situation at uh, Harmony. Uh, let's start off with you, uh, uh, Dr. Robertson. We had you on the first segment, and we had some problems in terms of our timing, et cetera. But let's uh, have you to give us an, uh, some information in reference to uh, health, Harmony health care. Okay, I'd be glad to. Dr. Haney, we have worked a, a lifetime. We have dedicated our life to empowering and helping individuals because that's our calling. I guess the question individuals may ask is what's unique about Harmony? Mm -hmm. What's different about Harmony? Because we have a lot of healthcare providers here and let me just try to share with you what I think mm -hmm. Harmony brings to the community. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think that what we want to do is empower individuals. I'm not about throwing a pill at individuals. I'm about teaching, listening, mm -hmm. and we want to join hands. We want to join with individuals to empower them to live healthy, quality lives. That's our motto. Mm -hmm. That's our goal. Mm -hmm. And I think that's different. And then how do we do that? I think first of all, we're going to take our time to listen. Mm -hmm. We want to engage individuals. We want to empower individuals. And then we want to move them through their health care process. And that's what I think is unique and different mm -hmm. about Harmony mm -hmm. Family Health Care with three mm -hmm. providers. Very good. And of course, Ms. Crawford, you would agree, I would imagine, in reference to all of that. Now, what are some of the things that you'd like to add in reference to the uniqueness of Harmony? Well, <clears throat> our... Um, our effect isn't just in our office. Mm -hmm. We are available to the community to do health education. Mm -hmm. um, in any civic organization or church, mm -hmm. we would love to get out and make um, information about health common knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, smallpox was wiped out, mm -hmm. completely wiped out, off the face of the earth. And it's because everybody at the same time decided that it was deadly and that we have a cure for it, let's get rid of it. We need to do the same thing with obesity. We need to do the same thing with diabetes. Granted, diabetes does have a genetic component, but we can optimize any chronic health problem. And one of the things that Harmony is going to do uh, in March we will have a five-week series uh, living uh, with well with chronic mm -hmm. uh, health issues uh, that we'd love to invite the public to come to. You can call 615-291-9923 to make an appointment for a health care visit mm -hmm. or um, to register for the Living uh, Well with Chronic Disease mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. We offer childbirth education classes, we uh, have a uh, nutritionist who has a practice with us. We have a uh, massage therapist mm -hmm. who will uh, provide services in our facility starting in April. Mm -hmm. So we want to uh, help people optimize their health. Mm -hmm. You might have a chronic health condition, but it need not control your life. Mm -hmm. Very good, and of course, Ms. Martin, I would imagine you could also attest to that. Yes, I am. I can. Um, we really want to return the power to the patient to offer them options and then let them make the decisions that are necessary to optimize their health. Um, one of the things that we're doing is Reiki therapy, which is a, a self-healing modality. Um, I could do a Reiki session for you for an hour and you would feel relaxed and feel wonderful mm -hmm. and leave and maybe three hours later the stress in your life has overcome you. What we would like to do is to teach Reiki to our clients mm -hmm. so that they have it as a self-healing. That's something that they can do every morning when they wake up mm -hmm. or in the afternoon if they're feeling stressed. Mm -hmm. That they can teach their children mm -hmm. because we're not a country that really teaches our young how to deal with the stresses of this world. We're just, as opposed to, for instance, Japan, where that's considered, you know, part of your education is to learn how to deal with stress, how to decide what are the stressors in my life that I have control over, what are the stressors that I have no control over, and how do I let go of those things that I really have no control over. And, and of course, uh, Ms. Crawford, let's uh, 
<clears throat> have you to make some uh, additional statements, and then we'll uh, have uh, Dr. Robertson to uh, sort of uh, turn uh, close us out today in reference to this. I think we've got about five minutes. Okay. But what are some of the other things that you think that uh, you ought to leave with us today? Well, let's think of the far-reaching effects of a uh, family state of health. Mm -hmm. If um, a couple has unhealthy health habits, mm -hmm poor nutrition, they smoke, they drink too much. Mm -hmm. Let's think about what happens as a result of that in the next hundred years. Mm -hmm. You know, every generation you're going to have children. Mm -hmm. You could have up to 500, 1,000 people by the end of a hundred years. Mm -hmm. How many of those health habits will be passed down to those people? Mm -hmm. And then it becomes logarithmic by the mm -hmm. next hundred years. We might be talking half a million people. So the decision to make good choices mm -hmm. not only affects your quality of life, mm -hmm. it affects the quality of life of your great-grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So we want to help the community realize that it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You can save your children. Mm -hmm. They don't have to uh, have poor quality of life, mm -hmm. but it's up to you. You mm -hmm. have to make the decisions to have nutritious food in the house, to have them see you have healthy relationships between husband and wife, mm -hmm. uh, to see you exercise, to see mm -hmm. you uh, do healthy things uh, to, to deal with your stress mm -hmm. rather than unhealthy things. And you know, Dr. Uh, Robertson, mm -hmm. it seems to me that uh, since we, especially since we're dealing with African-American females often, that uh, there ought to be uh, something that you can say in reference to why is it that we have such a difficult time to convince African-American females uh, to be concerned about their health. I mean, they don't exercise as much as they perhaps should. They don't, well, you know the problems. Uh, wh wh why is that? Uh, is, is that something peculiar with the uh, uh, African-American female or what is it that, that they don't exercise? They don't uh, do the kind of things that are necessary and the obesity rate is much greater than uh, some of the other uh, uh, groups. Why is that? What a loaded question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that African American women are indeed unique mm -hmm. in that uh, there are, they are heads of families in some mm -hmm. cases. Um, they are um, uh, looking at trying to hold the family together, mm -hmm. uh, supporting uh, our, our men uh, is also important mm -hmm. to all women, but in particular African-American mm -hmm. women. There are certain stressors that still African-American women must deal with mm -hmm. that other women may not have to deal with. Um, so those stressors can also dictate how we treat mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why, do we, why are we obese? Well, probably because of the, the many reasons that other individuals are mm -hmm, obese. Mm -hmm. um, but what we want to do again is mm -hmm. impact women, in particular African American mm -hmm. women, and empower those women to make sound, mm -hmm. healthy choices mm -hmm. so that they can be better, look better, mm -hmm. even feel better and live better. Mm -hmm. That's what's most mm -hmm, important. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to do at Harmony. Mm -hmm. And what would you say in reference to uh, that statement over the last minute that we have here, uh, Ms. Crawford? You know, when you're struggling to put food on the table, mm -hmm. walking for 30 minutes may not be a priority. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you realize the long-reaching effects of your lifestyle and your way of mm -hmm. life before your children, mm -hmm you may need to shuffle your priorities a little. Mm -hmm. And I say, if you would run into a burning building mm -hmm. to save your children, even if you didn't think you could save them, you would still try. Mm -hmm. Can you give up your cigarettes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, and of course, Ms. Martin, we've got about a minute and a, a, a minute uh, for you to make a, a final statement. Okay, and, and I think that we will all agree that everyone deserves the very best care that they can possibly Absolutely. get mm -hmm. from infancy all the way up. So, you know, one of the things our practices, our practice mm -hmm. really emphasizes is breastfeeding because mm -hmm. that is the very best start. Mm -hmm. Anything else is artificial feeding mm -hmm. and do we really want mm -hmm. to artificially feed our children? Mm -hmm. So men, women, children, 
regardless of race, mm -hmm. creed, mm -hmm. deserve the very best care mm -hmm. that they can possibly get. And that's what we're striving for. And that is what Harmony is up to. Is that right? That's right. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Very good. And of course, let me thank the three of you <coughs> ladies for coming by and giving us that excellent information. And let me apologize for the uh, breaks that we had here today. But I think that overall, the uh, message is out and the message is clear that you do believe that Harmony is a start for a large number of people. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.